The Aran Islands are outside of Connemara. They were on the edge of Galway Bay. The Aran people who fished would bring all their fish to the edge of Connemara and leave them there. There'd, there'd be, you know, companies that would pick up the fish. And there were three of the islands. And the one that I spent all my time with was in Ishmoor, the, the largest and uh, the most diverse to my mind. There were many, many attractions. It was so beautiful. The sounds of the, the horses' hooves on the cobble and uh, the sounds of the voices, that got me the most. The beautiful sounds of the place, the wind. It was an, an ancient place with uh, this extraordinary singularity of the stone walls, the way they related to each other. And I love the Irish language. I, I would just, you know, sort of sneak around so I could listen to people talking. And at that point, the whole island was Irish speaking. The men in Erin would come down to the pier to pick up brides, and uh, they would stand together talking. It was interesting to me, the difference in the, the roles of women and the roles of men. It was mostly women inside the house and men outside the house. The women did um, decide the, on the color of the inside and the, the great uh, glory of, of women was their cupboard and the dishes in the cupboard and their beautiful mugs and jugs and bowls and platters. And of course, they, they did the cooking and baking, yeah. I would work in the fields and I did a, a painting of, of uh, Colleen Tom's piebald ho horse, which came from Connemara, so Connemara pony, and their cow. I was there for the birth of the little calf. It was, was pretty remarkable to have your own horse. And Colleen had one. And trap. That's, you know, for picking people up at the boat and taking them usually to Dunengus, the, the prehistoric fort that's one of the main drawing power to the island. At that time, there, there really wasn't a lot of people coming to the island, but now there's a lot. I painted Nan knitting. Nan would say, you'll, you'll, you can never get married because you can't knit. And it, she meant it, it wasn't facetious. It was like, you know, who would marry you if you can't knit? I painted Colleen saying the rosary, kneeling on the, the stone floor. The outstanding aspects of the island, a number of di different haystacks, It was an ancient culture that was still intact and no signs of its ever changing. And it had a powerful lure and a way of singing, the, the Shano singing that was so beautiful. And I loved the dances. I learned to dance in the Aran Islands, in the pubs and, and in the weekly dance, Sunday nights. All the women and girls will, would sit on one long bench on one side of the hall. This was sort of run by the priests and, and the men on the other side as a, as a kind of prelude to asking a woman to dance. They would uh, do sort of silent signaling because it would be so shameful to get up and ask someone to dance. You have to walk across the whole hall. And if she said no, you know, no, so, so there was a, an agreement made before the walk was made. And uh, I just thought that was completely charming. It was an enchanting place. Oh, 